Hi there, welcome everyone. I'm excited today to share these cute rainbow cards with you and a really fun quick tip. I think you're going to love this. This is Patty Bennett. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I blog at pattystamps.com. You can find me there every day. <laughs> so I am very excited to be live with you. This is our weekly live video every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. I go live here on Facebook. Um, I know I'm maybe just a moment late, but I was trying and Facebook just wouldn't let me go live. So now I'm here. So excited. So if you're joining live, you're going to see the red live button in the corner. And then that means that if you comment, I can see your comments. And I'm watching them over here on my iPad. So I just want to say a welcome to Connie, Heather, Shan, Joni, Tammy, Linda, Diane, Patty. So many of you watching. Thank you so much for joining. Today we are going to be looking at these adorable rainbow cards. And I have just the super quickest tip for you. <laughs> I think you're going to love it. So we will be looking at the supplies and I'll tell you how you can get this paper for free and I will give you a quick tip and then that's kind of it for today. We It's just fast and I know if you're looking for the tulip cards that we're supposed to be doing, I'm postponing it another week and I'll tell you why. This paper that we're using today is part of the Stampin' Up! Celebration promotion. It's going on through February 28. However, if things sell out before that date, then they probably will not come back just because Stampin' Up! doesn't always have time to reorder product during that short time frame. So we're we're using today this cute sunshine and rainbows paper and it is available when you make a $50 purchase in my Stampin' Up! online store. You could select this as your free gift. There are 48 sheets of 6 by 6 size. So we're using a few of the patterns today, but I thought, you know, if I wait and I show you this like down the road sometime and then the paper's gone, that's going to be too frustrating. So I thought, okay, postpone the tulips. Let's do this. <laughs> so I hope you understand. I hope it makes sense. So let's just officially say again, welcome. If you're watching a replay, you've already heard the welcome. But if you're just joining in live, I just wanted to say welcome. This is Patty Bennett. I blog at pattystamps.com. And tomorrow, January 29th, you will find these cards, the still photos, all the supplies, all the information that you need to make them. Okay? So hello from France. Oh my goodness. Oh, I know, Heather, this paper makes me so happy. I so agree with you. Hi, Wendy from South Wales, UK. That's awesome. I have been to South Wales. Um, yeah, in 1976, we went as a family. And I remember that vividly. My, my ancestors are from Wales. So yeah, hello. <laughs> All right. So this paper, like I said, is six by six. These are just a couple of the patterns, and I've used some of them today. So this is the main one that we're going to use, and I will show you how to do this with this. I've also used the really cute clouds because we're going to use the cloud punch on that. And then I did not yet use these two, but I think I want to make cards today with those two just to show you the two options of kind of how these go together. So that's what I'm going to do today. I want to I'm just going to put them right up here so I don't forget. They're going to stare at me right there. But I did use these and I also used some others. So let's look at that. This card actually features a heart pattern from the Hostess set. So I did use two patterns. Three? I used three. Three. Let's get those out so I can show you. And I'm going to show you where they are in the annual catalog because I think a lot of people overlook these cute paper patterns. So with Stampin' Up! for, I think, all the 26 years I've been a demonstrator, 
they have had a host program. I mean, it used to be called the hostess program. Now it's called stamp and rewards because, you know, we have men and, and they don't maybe want to be called a hostess. So it's stamp and rewards. To me, it's still the hostess program, but that's okay. So any order or party or combination thereof of 150 or more earns 10%. So if you had a $150 order, you're going to earn $15 to spend. You can either spend it back here in the host section, or you could get anything in the catalog you want. This year, they introduced this amazing 12 by 12 pack of paper, 48 sheets of 12 by 12. It's $18, but you could use your $15 towards that and just pay the $3 extra. So that's how that works. And I have used three of those patterns today. So I used those adorable rainbow stripes on this one. The hearts, I think this is probably my favorite, the heart pattern. And then this little more subtle striped pattern. So those three are from that pack, and it's called Pattern Party. This one, I thought, oh, a blue sky would be pretty. <laughs> it's from the Tulip. Well, I call it the Tulip. It's not called Tulip. I think it's called Flowering Flowering Fields. So it's this piece right here from Flowering Fields. I thought it would make a good sky, and it does, but um, it's also a little plain compared to all these pretty colors. It's beautiful, though. It's beautiful. And then this one, the background, is from this Sunshine and Rainbow Celebration uh, pack. So different options. And then today, I'm going to make two more using these two because they're just happy and fun and cute and pretty and all that. All right, so the focal point. What is this and how did I do this? And it's so easy. You are going to love it. So we have this pattern, which is cut out from this six by six sheet. And I have die cut this. Now I originally saw this idea on Instagram and I cannot remember the exact name of the channel. It was something like Jessica Creativity Cardology, but it's linked in tomorrow's post, I um, or not linked, but it's mentioned in tomorrow's post. So you could go look for that. And I wanted to give her credit, but I'm sorry, I didn't memorize the name um, completely. But I've used the rainbow, Brilliant Rainbow Dyes, just like she did. Um, she used just a plain piece of white cardstock. I decided to use the Stitched So Sweetly rectangle die. And I just die cut out right out of the middle. And then those white, uh, you know, scoops, just, I just recycled them. I know I could have saved them and colored them, but that seemed like a lot of work. So I didn't do it. And then all you do, look at this, is you lay it on top and you have a rainbow. Oh my gosh, the simplest way ever to use this. So, <laughs> Love, love, love this idea. So I ran with this, and like you saw, I just started making a whole bunch of cards. And I wanted to just put a couple together and show you. So we're going to do one with this cute uh, cloud-edged die. It is from Basic Borders. So there's lots of different dies in here, and I used this cloud one. You can see I have one here that I use as a stencil basic borders. So we're going to make one with the cloud stencil, and then we're going to make the other one with the cloud punch out pieces. And that one is from this piece. And all you need to do is to slip your cloud punch like this and punch out. And yes, you can use the pieces that have just kind of that raw edge. It doesn't have to be a full entire cloud. So that's all you have to do to punch out of here. Super easy to use. There is a coordinating set called Rainbow of Happiness that goes with uh, this 
brilliant rainbow die set. This is a bundle that you can purchase, and Stampin' Up! always gives a 10% discount. Um, but I elected to try this out instead of stamping all the individual pieces. So that's what we're doing today. And I'm just... Um, oh, thank you. Just be creative. Cardology. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and the white note cards... Thank you for reminding me. I have them here. It's the basic white note cards. So you get the note card and the envelope. They're cut and scored. I I have probably 20 packs of these at all times because these I love. I use them so much. Love these. Thank you for that reminder. And let me just see if there was another question. Yep, border dies are so, so great. Yes, Stacy, it is genius. She was just so smart. I don't know if she thought of it, but I did see it there. So I just thought, um, you know, why not try this? Uh, sorry, I'm just looking back at the comments. I think. Oh, Shan is asking, can, can she get this paper without being a demonstrator? Yes, of course. This is the customer catalog. So all of this is for customers. Anytime your customer order is 150 or more, which could be you on your own, or you could gather orders from a friend, you could save up your orders. A lot of my customers will typically order $50 at a time because of my um, free stamps with Patty customer loyalty form requires a $50 order. But if you save that up and you ordered $150, then you can buy anything in the host section. So yes, customers can order that. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Did that help, Shan? I hope so. Yeah, I hope it carries over as well. I saw somebody say that. I hope so. I love it. So let's make a couple of these and I'll just show you how quickly they go together. I'm going to put this back on my magnet sheet. You've heard me say this before, but I tell you, if I leave a die out and it gets muddled into other things and it gets lost, ooh, extreme sadness. <laughs> so I am going to cut these two pieces to fit on my cards. And I personally just like the little border. So since it's a three and a half by five, I cut it to three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So that's what I'm going to do. And you can cut two pieces at once. Sometimes, depending on the exact thickness of this, you can even cut three pieces at once. So what did I say? Three and a half. So three and a quarter and four and three quarters. Or if you want to cover the whole note card front, then you just do three and a half by five because that's what they are. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to put my seal on the front. And I'm going to do one of each because I want to show you one with the cloud die and one with the cloud punch. And I think this paper is going to be adorable. All right. Thanks, Kathleen. She says she's going to watch the replay. Perfectly fine. Yes. This, by the way, good point. This replay will be available right here on my business page just seconds after I'm done. And then I will have the replay on YouTube and my blog tomorrow on January 29th. So our, our bases are ready. So now let's get these two pieces ready. And I already did the die cutting. So again, it's just the stitched so sweetly die with that rainbow piece die cut out of the middle. And then you just cut up that larger sheet because I know we have people that are just joining. So let me just show you again. You cut up this piece into strips and then you cut out each individual little rainbow. So you get six out of this piece. I tried to use those two and it just it didn't quite work. But you get six out of a piece. So super duper. And then I added some seal. And you could do liquid glue. The other thing you could do is you could put your adhesive sheet on the back of this 
before die cutting if you wanted to. And then each of those would be sticky. I really didn't find that I needed to do that. So I was like, oh, you know, just go with this. This is, this works, right? And then you just tack it on top and look at that. Isn't that the easiest way to make that rainbow? So fun. So fun. Oh, yes. Oh, cute. That's cute. Tina says she has like 10 packs of this paper. I know. I think I might as well. We might be twinning on that. <laughs> so again, you just put a little bit of adhesive. Oh, wait. It's hard because I'm not looking straight down. Let me move it closer to myself there. Okay. And just tack it down. And there you go. Now we have these two pieces ready. And then if you wanted to, you could pop this up on the foam adhesive sheets or dimensionals. I just elected to just do it flat. It, I think with these small size note cards, I think that flat is good. You don't want them too bulky. Oh my gosh, look how cute it is on this these two patterns. So cute. And again, these two patterns are in the Celebration 6x6 pack. So I was trying to use up more patterns in there to show you that versatility. I'm just reading Leticia's comment. Our rainbow piece too. Instead of the red. Um, sorry, I'm not quite catching what you're meaning. I'm sorry, Leticia. I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so then here's uh, the look of it with that cloud stent, or not stencil, cloud dye, the border dye. And then here's what it would look like if you wanted to add, let's see, let's do three different clouds the clouds like that. Or we could switch them, but uh, you know, I think that looks fine, right? Doesn't that look cute? I like it. So that's what we'll do. So on my samples, let me show you on this one, I stamped on that cloud border and let me grab this set. It's called Slim Sayings and it's kind of meant for slimline cards, but as you can see, every one of those greetings is going to fit on any regular card as well. So I thought that was cute that it was nice and long and it kind of fills up that space. So I liked that. Uh, this one I think is in, it's not. I thought it was in here. Hang on. It is in, well, I had it out here and now I don't see it. It's in something. Oh, it was right here. You know, you try to be so organized. Well, anyway, that could be from anything. So sorry, I thought it was right here. Hey, friend, I love this. This is from In Symmetry. I think that's adorable. I thought that was a really fun one to use. You Make Me Happy is in this set and that's what we're going to use on our cloud today and then this one is also from there so we'll use both of these since they are in this set that comes in the bundle and this also gives me that opportunity to share the tip with you about when you have especially a long skinny stamp that's photopolymer if you pick it up and you put it onto your block, do you see what it did? It kind of like flopped down in an arc. So I always, always, always put my stamp onto my grid paper and I let it rest just a little minute. It gets right into its natural shape. I take my block, I press down and I pick it up. That ensures that it is in the shape that it's supposed to be. Now, that said, the beauty of these is Let's say I wanted to make it into an arc. Like, I could do that if I wanted to stamp it up there. I could. 
but I want it to be straight ac across on the clouds. So I'm just going to let it rest a minute and pick it up. Okay, so that one's ready to go. And then we'll do this cute little one on the, the punched out cloud. And I used Bermuda Bay. I think I'll go ahead and do that again because I think it's it's a great way to pick up this blue in the center. So that one will get stamped on here. And I always like to stamp on my grid paper just to make sure everything's stamping nicely. Make sure there isn't a dimensional backing or a fuzz or, you know, some crazy thing happening there. Yep, perfect. I'm going to just do that about here because I think we're going to end up having to cut off some from the bottom of there. I cut it generously so that I could place it where I wanted it and then just cut off the excess. Thanks, Desiree. Let's see. You said use your rainbow dies to cut out the partial rainbows on your DSP. Oh, that's so true. So when I was saying that I couldn't quite get these to work because they're cut off. So yes, I could use the dies to cut out three and then just use those on a separate card. That's brilliant. So thank you. That is a great way to not waste that. And then we're just going to add stamp and seal, or you know, you can do whatever adhesive of your choice. So I think, I think I like it about here. Oh, you know what? That's actually, I'm just going to line it right up so that we don't have to. No, that's too big. <laughs> Does anybody else have these discussions with themselves as they craft? <laughs> I seem to all the time. So then, like I said, I cut it overly generous so that we could place it where we wanted it and then cut off the excess. So I'm going to use snips on the left and right side, but I'm going to use my paper trimmer across the bottom because if that gets like wiggly, you know, it's not going to look good, right? So trim that off and make it even on the bottom. And we're going to add some embellishments to that. And then two of these are going to get attached with seal and one of them will be popped up. So see, we can use that cloud that was on the edge and make use of that. That works totally fine. We'll put that one here. And then, you know, I love my foam sheets. I keep all my little, like, extra pieces that might work for a future project. So we're just going to stick that piece on and put that right down there. How cute! How adorable are these? And you could just bless so many people with all this fun and colorfulness, couldn't you? So that's two ideas with uh, more paper. Look at all these fun ideas. So I'm going to grab butterflies for one of these. Aren't the brass butterflies cute? Look how, how they shine like that. Love that. So I'm going to use those on one of them. Oh, this one has butterflies too. Oh, I'll tell you. Here's a little tip. So... Remember how I said you could glue down these white strips, but really they, they're not a problem. They're not sticking up. They're not having a problem. However, on this card, that last arc was, it kept sticking up. And so I glued the butterfly right on top of it to hold it down. <laughs> yeah. Kind of brilliant, right? <laughs> Oh good. I'm glad I'm glad the rest of you talk to yourself too. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not alone. <laughs> so on this one, I used the classic matte dots that are white and my Stampin' Blends in three of these colors just to pull in the colors. So that's an option. And then this one, I think this is what we're going to use. These are the iridescent rhinestones, and what I love about these is they seem to kind of pick up colors 
in your project. So they go with just about anything. So I think that's what I'm going to put on here. Yeah, and then we'll put a couple butterflies there. All right, so sorry for reaching. I should have had these out, but they're right here, so we're good. All right, so brushed brass butterflies. You have to say it slow because if you don't, it's like crazy, right? Brushed brass butterflies. I think Kylie was trying to say this fast, and it was really funny. So I'll show you. See, I just did that on the one where that arc was sticking up, and then it solves that little problem. So now they kind of look like they're trailing up there. But I think we need one more because four is an even number, and that's... So let's see, one about here. Yep, right there. Okay, so all the cuteness of the cloud border die and brushed brass butterflies. <laughs> it's so funny to have to say it so slow. Oh yes, Linda's right. We all need expert advice. That's why we talk to ourselves. I love that. And Tammy says it's a business meeting. Yep, having a business meeting. <laughs> all right, so iridescent rhinestones. By the way, I used up three packages with the middle and the small size uh, doing customer thank you cards this week so you can see here that there's three sizes of them so now i have three packages of just large and that would be too big on these note cards i think that would be too bulky but somewhere somehow i'm going to have to find a project to use these big ones up so if anybody has uh, an idea for like the perfect project for those large ones please let me know because I have lots. I don't really know how many there are. I could look it up and count, but there's lots. Yes, very cute. <gasps> very cute. Look how fun. So isn't that easy? So thanks again to Jess, Jessica. Jess, um, I'm going to, like I said, it's already linked on my blog, mentioned on my blog for tomorrow, but um, she was the one that I, okay, I don't know if she came up with the idea. I saw the idea on her Instagram account. You know, you never know who to credit exactly for 100% of all of this. But anyway, that's the idea. So fun, fun, fun. And if you're new and you haven't yet visited me at pattystamps.com, I try to have a fun idea for you or a tip or a reminder or something every day. And I just want to show you, I got this out so I could show you. This is the card that is on my blog today. And look at all those fun pebbles. They were on back order and they became available again yesterday. So I may have ordered lots of packages. And... um yeah, so that's, I think it's just so cute. Those those pebbles are to die for. And this is the Rain Boots Bundle. And credit for this basic idea here with the Slimline card goes to Melanie Hawken. And I sort of embellished upon the idea she had. But I love this. And it's on my blog today. So you can go to pattystamps.com if you want to see that. Um, yes, these are the note cards. I just saw a question go by. So it's the Stampin' Up! Note Cards and Envelopes Pack. And they're already cut and scored. So I love that. Oh, use the larger ones on the ladybugs. So that's definitely a good idea. Thank you. And was there another? Oh, the packaging. So, um... I went over this a couple of videos ago. Hang on, I'm, I'm going to reach, but, but hang on, I'm going to get them out. On Amazon, they're from Avery, and they're called Passport 4x6 Vinyl Envelopes. And I have all of my um, embellishments in them, and I use my brother P-Touch labeler to label them, and I have them in a container. So that was about three videos ago, I think, Christine, you can look at that video on my YouTube channel. And I did a whole video about organizing and all of these things that I love to use to organize. You're welcome, Stacy. Glad you liked the tips. 
Thanks, Juanita. Thanks, Trish. Oh, Janelle says Jess is her upline. Oh, my gosh, Janelle. Thank her for the awesome idea. Tell her she will be mentioned on my blog tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. So glad you like this. So any questions on these before I let you go? I just thought these would be so fun to share with you. Oh, Juanita said she bought those because of my video. That's awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad you like them. And Diana uses them too. Yeah, so any questions about the rainbow bundle, rainbow of happiness bundle, the celebration paper, the dies, I'm happy to answer questions. And thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Glad you enjoyed these. Yep, go use up that paper, Tina. Exactly. Thanks, Marianne. Thank you, Patricia. All right. Well, I don't see questions coming through, so I will let you go on with your day. For us, it's almost lunchtime here, so I'm going to go eat some lunch. And, um, yeah, I'm going to – oh, I get to stamp with friends tomorrow. I'm very excited. It's been so long, and so – I am excited to do that. I hope you all have a fun weekend planned. You're welcome, Susan and Linda. All right. Oh, thanks, Anne. She says she loves to hang out on Fridays. Thank you. Thanks, Katie. You're welcome, Donna. Thank you, everybody. I will see you on here next week. And in the meantime, be sure to check out my blog for all the details tomorrow on these adorable cards. See you next time. Bye.